Now this is a story all about how my brain got put turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute, you'll enjoy this gem, I'll tell you how I became the queen of a class called Ochem. Went to school in Philadelphia, a temple made in the classroom is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, max and relaxing, all cool till I took the first quiz and I felt like a fool. When our friendly TA started sensing pessimism, wanted to help us out with our mechanisms. From that one little quiz, my grade dropped down, so I took the extra help and came up with this rundown. Let's start with looking at S and two reactions. Have a good end, you. There'll be backside attacking. Takes one step. Best and pull apodic solvent. The best way to study is to do your practice problems. By molecular nucleophilic substitution. Invert the stereochemistry like an optical illusion. Switch R to S and wedge to dash with those right hand rule. You'll be done in a flash. Now on to SM1, that's a three-step transformation. Association solvent attack and deprotonation. Tertiary carbons are a telltale sign. Carbocation intermediate helps you reach the goal line. With a good leaving group and a basic NU, any one reaction is what you'll have to do with a stable carbocation and beta hydrogen and alkene is produced and you're set up to win. The last thing to remember is about E2, basic and U and beta hydrogens too. Primary or secondary has the LG and an orbital overlap is something you must see. I sat down for the test around 1228. I looked up at Bill and he couldn't negate that by getting extra help and coming to class, the Queen of Ochem was surely to pass.